Flight information. Mining engineer. Demolitions class C. Report to Parker Sector. Fun ride? Yeah. A blast. How's mom? She misses you. Shit. Up in the sky. EDF gunship. Didn't think they'd be out here today. I'll keep an eye on it. You get the salvage. <laughs> Mason, my name is Simonia. I worked with your brother. <laughs> Lucky you. All right, take it easy. Stop it! You're wasting my time. That's not funny. Do I look like EDF to you? Don't make me hurt you. All right, you've had your fun. Uh, hey, watch it! Cut that out! What are you doing? Feels like I'm living in a penal colony. All right, I'm at the base. Good. Hi guys, it's Rob here, or Turnip Lord from GamePit.co.uk, and today I am taking a look at Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered. So we've been given the game, and um, we've been told that videos can go up as from today, but review is on Monday, I think it is, because the game is out on Tuesday on the Xbox One, PS4, and I think it's out on PC as well, because um, they've redone quite a lot of the textures. So, I'm just going to jump straight into this. So, I'm playing on PS4 Pro. The console has two quality options on the PS4 Pro. You can either play it in a 1500p at 60 frames per second, which is what I'm on now. Or you can play it at a native 2160p, which is 4K, at 30 frames per second. I recommend playing it on the 1500p at 60fps because you get a smoother experience and the game still looks great. Uh, the 2160p um, mode, in my experience, the frame rate isn't the greatest. It does seem to drop quite a bit when the action gets quite heavy. So I do just recommend keeping it on the performance mode and playing it in 1500p. Um, I'll also have a full review of the game up on gamepit.co.uk. Uh, the details will be in the description down below. Uh, but that won't be until Monday when the embargo is up. So, let's just, um, cause some trouble here. <laughs> I like this truck as well, because obviously it's got loads of energy, so... What is our actual target? Um, it's this building, isn't it? Okay. Uh, so I could get out the truck and throw some grenades and shoot them, but why bother when we can just plow right through it? Although we are going to get destroyed very soon if I have a look at it. But we could use that to our advantage. We plant the van in here and get out quickly and run. So the van just blew up. There we go, the whole buildings came down. And I actually got a trophy as well. Nice one. Oh, shit. Right, so my guys are here to help, so that's good. Okay, man. Oh, the sneaky git has gone that way. There we go, took care of him. Oh shit, I could have used that gun. That gun's normally pretty good as well. It's a shame this isn't like the sequel where you can get that gun that rebuilds things. So 
So for me, uh, in my play at the moment, it is a little bit laggy because of the, my setup. So I have to use remote play to control the PS4. Um, but it should be alright. But we need to actually try and escape. If we can get this vehicle out, which I thought had been destroyed, then we could also do this quest at the same time. Sam, there's a vehicle here with one of those transports. Oh, shit. <laughs> Some of these missions, though, are so hard. I don't remember being... Oh, is it about to destroy? Shit. Wait, it's not on fire. Why wouldn't it try? Oh, yeah, there we go. It's dead. Never mind. I'm going to get a failed for that. Yeah. See, the good thing about failing these ones is if you press retry, it will start you off right near the vehicle again with no no bad guys against you. So, it's kind of a cheat, but it's, it works. And it makes it easier, so let's try this one again. As I was saying, though, some of the missions are a lot harder than I remember. Um... Like the story mission, oh, <laughs> the whole building is still gone. Um, the story missions, as far as I can recall, they're so much more difficult. Like I'll try in a minute, but you have like really strict timelines of like getting a vehicle from one place to the next, or a certain amount of energy to kill certain people, and, that, and it just seems so hard. Which is why I've just been going around and destroying things instead. Try and collect more scrap and get better guns. I have actually just unlocked the rocket launcher as well, I think. So I might equip myself with that because that will give me more things to help things go boom. See, this one wants me to go 1300 meters. I thought it would take you to the nearest safe point, but their safe zone but it's not it's taking you to a specific one which isn't always the closest there's some propaganda there can we take that out yeah of course we can Yeah, so you may not be able to see it here um, because this video is recorded in 1080p 30 frames per second. Oh shit, go away. But this game runs really smooth in 1500p. Like I said, 2160p isn't as smooth. I will do a video of that soon. Um, either as a separate upload or I may just insert it here kind of thing.
I say, I've been told that on the base Xbox, for, uh, sorry, base PS4, it's a locked 1080p at 60 frames per second. I don't think the base PS4 has an option for performance or quality, which is obviously how would you increase resolution over 1080p on a base PS4? Wouldn't be possible. And also in regards to stuff like HDR and that, I have no idea, because um, I don't have a HDR TV, so I couldn't answer that for you. Oh wait, I'm not there. I thought I was there. Shit. Two seconds. One, zero. Oh, you son of a bitch. I was literally there. I thought I was there a couple of seconds early, so I stopped. <laughs> See what I mean about like for these transport missions being so tight in regards to the time you literally have to do it without making any mistakes if you want to make sure that you get there without losing so I'm just going to try this one one more time I won't take my time with it this time I'll actually try and do it properly I think it was um, smashing on propaganda towers that kind of uh, slowed me down a little bit as well But yeah, I've played the PS3 and the PC version of this game back in the day. And I can say this game is definitely a lot better than the PS3 version. I've been playing that recently and I think that's like 720p or something. Um, but this has higher quality um, textures, it's got a high resolution, it's got uh, better texture quality. Um, it just looks and feels so much better. And even compared to the PC version, like I said, they've remastered quite a lot of the game. So it does feel like, not like a new experience, but like a decent remaster, basically. Like I said, my full review, even though you already know what the game's about and stuff like that, my full review is going to be on Monday, I think it is, um, at 6pm uh, UK time. That's when our embargo, what the hell happened there? Um, that's when our embargo lifts four reviews. So I can't give any review opinions until then, basically. I may do another video if you want me to, because I'm more than happy to. I've been recording all my footage for my review anyway. So I've already got like pre-recorded about what, seven or eight hours worth of content so far. Keep pressing the wrong button to um, fire. Keep pressing square and square stops you. Squares your um, handbrake. X is the um, shooting gun. Shooting gun? Yes, it is the shooting gun. <laughs> it's pretty useless, this gun, though. It supposedly locks onto the nearest enemy um, if you've not got anyone manning it. I think you can press L1 at this point and you'll change seats and go into the gun but obviously I don't want to do that at the moment because I'm on a race against time but even when you um, you manage to get some allies to get in your car they don't always man the gun or if they do they don't man it very well right, this is going to be really tight again oh what the hell my game is lagging. There we go. Stop. So that that lag is, like I said, it's on my side. It's because I'm using remote play to control it. So, but anyway, I did that. Two minutes forty-nine. So that's cool. And the enemies have now stopped following me. So that's cool. Right, so. Okay. There's no roof, did you say? Okay. Uh, Now I can attack these and they'll attack me back, so I don't want to do that. I want to get a rocket launcher. Where is the... Um... Wait, is this another transport mission? Yeah, we'll do that in a minute. Um... Is it not going to give me...
I'm worried that might explode if I hit it too hard. Let's try again. No, okay. Right, so there's no um I can't believe those bastards. Oh, is it here? I was gonna say there's nowhere to change my weapons. I think it might be in here. Destroy the computers. Um, no, it's not here. If I destroy that, I'll blow up. But I think actually I might be able to change my gun here. There I can, okay. Uh, so peacekeeper, grinder, rifle, enforcer, proximity mines, rocket launcher. So let's have a rocket launcher. There we go. This should make it more fun. <laughs> let's take this vehicle to wherever they want me to take it. But yeah, this game has Sam, I just picked up a single a oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh. This game does have Oh, if this is one with a really tight schedule actually, I won't be able to make this at all. Uh, but I'll try. Um but yeah, um It has a lot of fetch quests. A lot more than what I remember, to be honest with you. It's like um I saw on a map before, there's like loads of go here and destroy this building or like I'm doing now, go here, collect this car, bring it back to us over here kind of thing. There's loads of them. And obviously you do that to bring down the enemies um, standing in the area and to increase your standing in the area. So the higher your standing is, the more, ta more likely it is that allies will join you in battle and the lower their standing is, uh, the less enemies are in the area. And it also has the story missions which progress the story of you working for the Rebel Alliance over on Mars, trying to take Mars back for yourself. So it's a very interesting game. Um, I didn't play it that much in the past, I played it quite a bit, but mainly just to uh, oh shit just to destroy things because it's just fun going around smashing things up but I never really got into the story in the past but this time around I've been getting into the story quite a bit mainly because I need to review the game so I need to understand what I'm actually fighting for oh, I'm not going to do this, I'm, I've got 2 minutes and I've got to go 2700 whatever now if you put that into perspective I had two minutes before to do 1400 and I only just made it. And that's what I mean, I, I, I'm guessing you're supposed to use shortcuts. Oh shit. But I don't know any of the shortcuts yet. So these bits are pretty much impossible for me because I'm never going to make it in time. Like, true, this car is about twice as fast as the last car, and also twice as hard to control, but still, it's, um, it's not going to make it in that time. I will try. But I've encountered about four of these so far where, for me, it's going to be physically impossible to get there in time even if I try and take shortcuts and I go different ways and everything ok that jump went a little bit better than it normally does dud, 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 dud because I kind of pulled back so the car went back a little bit so you're looking at 50 seconds to get 1200 whatevers not good I know I did cock this one up at the beginning by just smashing into a few things, but still, even if I didn't, I don't know if I would make this. But as you can see, it wants me to deliver it to Parker. Well, why not just deliver it to the nearby place? <coughs> that would have been so much easier. Oh shit. Okay. Definitely lost this now. 
And it doesn't actually look that hard because I'm less than 500 away from it now. So it probably is possible to do this one. Pro time is 3 minutes 35. Bloody hell. Um, nope, just going to go exit on that one. <clears throat> Let's look for someone to smash up instead. Come on, it's just loading my map. I don't know why it's taking its time. Um, that one. That is a... Earn salvage and take your destruction skills to the next level. Okay. Now these are the little missions where it's normally like... You have this weapon. Do X amount of destruction in Y amount of seconds. The first one was you had um, just your hammer... Oh, sorry, it's just your pistol and um, some grenade packs to destroy a tower. So what's this one? Turrets can be used for destruction and take out of five communication towers. So I've got turrets now. Or I've got used turrets even. You have five seconds to return to the area. What? Oh, there's a turret there. Okay. Alright, yeah, I like these turrets. <laughs> Is that all five of them? No? There we go. So it counted that one because it still has a little bit left on it. So that took me a lot longer than it should have, to be honest with you. Um, my the pro speed is 16 seconds. Oh, I did it in a time that beat it. So I got 25 credits. So that's not too bad. I've also unlocked the ability to quick travel to any of the places now as well so let's use that because what we'll do is we will take on what's this it's another transporter um i want a different one i want to take out some of these right, so let's go to that but let's do it from here there you go so yes, yeah, so it took me a while to actually unlock the quick travel, but I'm glad I got it now. Makes getting around a, a lot faster and a lot easier. Here we go. So I've now got my rocket launcher and that with me anyway. So let's jump into... See, I want a bigger vehicle than this. I want one that's more robust. This one's a little bit better. I'd rather have a big truck, but this will do. So we're going to go to that one. Let's see if we can take that out. So we're here, so I'm guessing it's those towers that we need to take out, so let's, um, let's go for it. Let's just jump out of the car for a minute. Let's just create a pathway so our car can get in there. And let's drive right through. Yeah. Oh shit, that was a bit crap. <laughs> I thought I was going to go through it. Let's try again. Smash! Yes, yes, no. No. Okay, someone just committed suicide and jumped off. 
mate, is this one even... Oh, that one wasn't even one of the ones I had to destroy. Oh shit. Um, get out. Get out. It's about to explode. Run, 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 run. That one needs to be destroyed. This does. I can plant six of these as well, so it makes some pretty good explosions. There goes, there's one down. Let's just try and pick some of this back up. So that's our ammo restocked. Just smack him. I love how you can just smack him once and he'll be down. <laughs> So sometimes it takes hundreds of bullets to kill them, but no, one slap and they're dead. <laughs> he jumped right into that bloody explosion there. Oh, I was about to smack him with a hammer as well, but then just fell down that bloody hole. Not use the hammer that much, to be honest with you, um, in this video. But obviously the hammer is one of the best weapons. You just have to get up close to be able to use it. take out the stairs actually. <clears throat> yeah it's a bit overkill using the explosive um, charge on one enemy. But never mind. Let's see if we can take this church building down. Okay, some of them structures are really, really strong. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> That's not even taken down, but never mind. If it says it's down, it's down. It's a pot a pie. Okay. <laughs> Just destroy all these. They can't go to the toilet anymore. There we go. Right, let's, um, I've not got a lot of scrap, I've only got 500 scrap. Right, is there a vehicle I can nick? Smash. <sighs> Wait, it's still like a plasma, it won't destroy anything. What's the point in that? That's useless. It should be a rocket launcher one that destroys things. Right, I need a car. Does anyone want to drive a car here, please? Oh, then there's one right behind me. Um, oh, here's one. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, so he came to save me, but she decided to knock me over instead. 
very helpful. Well done. Right, so I've got two of them out. Let's try this one because it's out of the way. <clears throat> There's some propaganda there. Can we take that out as well? change vehicles because this one is a lot more robust. Oh, sod off. I'm parking it right in front of me. I don't need to destroy this vehicle before I manage to destroy your thing. I'm back! What does it want me to destroy? This building here. <laughs> what building where? Um, I am kind of stuck. No, no, don't go too fast. <laughs> Trucks, the ultimate demolition machine. <clears throat> they don't even know why they gave me a hammer, they should have just gave me a truck. Oh, get out of there before it collapses on you. So there's another one down. Um, There's three here. Can I make it do those? Try. A lot of these EDF crates around here, that one. There's one. There's one. I'm never going to find all 250 of those crates, but I may as well destroy whichever ones I come across. One behind me, one of them. Nope, they're towers. Which look like they may be explosive as well, so I don't want to touch those. Two here though. Oh, my truck is about to explode. Yep, let's run away. <clears throat> yeah, that's not gonna help. <laughs> Close range smack right into the side of a mountain. up here. Yeah. Was that you making that noise? Yeah. 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 Oh, we are destroy supposed to destroy these because it's um, EDF property, isn't it? Oh. I fell over. Help me up. I have fallen and I choose not to get up. Why don't the EDF get it? We don't want war, we want to be left alone. I fully agree. Right, so, I'm just going to try and take out one last thing. So let's go... Well, this is a rescue one. What's this one? Ride shotgun for Jenkins and destroy EDF property. Okay. Let's do that one, because I've not done one of these missions. So it's going to do this last mission, and then... We'll call it there, for this video. I think my guys need a rest after all this bloody reckless driving. Because that's right, it's not me who's controlling it, it's the, the character. He's the bad driver. I'm... I'm just someone merely observing. Yes. That's the way it works. But yeah, guys, don't forget, if you do like the look of a game, it's out on Tuesday from THQ, Xbox One, PS4, PC. Obviously it has been on PC for a while, but this is the remastered version. 
Um, which okay, looks a lot better. Yeah, I'm coming. Just had to take a leap. Ow. Oh, we're driving in one of these. Oh, nice one. <laughs> I like these cars. Oh, shit. Cause millions of credits of damage for EDF facilities and build um, cars. But are these good cars? Yep, they're bad cars. Okay. Um, you might want to drive a little bit better, mate. Really hard to aim because he's driving like a bloody maniac. He's driving worse than me, and that's that's got to say something. I mean, worse than my character, not me. There we go. Right, so there's a big tower back there, but I can't seem to get to it. would take his time. It's, it's really hard to keep up. Oh shit, population would demoralize. I um, attacked my own men by accident. <laughs> So we've only got 33 million out of 55 so far. Do we just keep going until he's dead, basically? Yeah, more, more, more. Some propaganda. I do like the lighting effects in this game, like the lens flare and whatnot. They're pretty cool. Like that. Oh shit, that was a good guy. Sorry. I saw it turn green just before I fight. Oh my god, they're all after me now. It's uh, 41 million. How am I going to get 55 million? Especially if he's not even driving near things that I can destroy. <sighs> I bet I've lost this now. If he's leaving, then we've probably lost. I don't think these cars are worth much though if I destroy them. Yeah, see, it only went up by a couple of points. Um, 
Do I like go back so I can destroy some more things? No, you come back to camp, haven't you? So have I failed that now? <sighs> 44 million failed. Anyway, on that note, I think that's a good place to stop. Hi guys, uh, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and leave any comments down below if you have any questions. Also, come and check out some of my reviews over on gamepit.co.uk. All the information is in the description down below. Now, catch you next time.